Hello there, welcome to Classic Golf Clubs and my first playing video. Hopefully you'll have watched the previous video where I talk about the clubs I'm playing today. If not, there's a link above. As you can see, the Slazinger Lucky 13 won the votes with one vote. And here's a table showing the lofts of the irons I'll be playing today. As you can see, they're about two clubs weaker than a modern set. So the five iron is equivalent to a modern seven iron. I've played a couple of holes just to get warmed up. And here we are for my first shot on YouTube. Let's hope it's a good one. Oh, no, it's an awful one. Blocked into the field on the right, out of bounds. Great. Let's dive into the bag, get another ball and play three off the tee. I have to admit, I can't remember when I last felt so nervous on the tee. Just vanity, I guess, trying to produce a good shot for my first on YouTube, but all in vain. Let's hope for something better with this one. Another ugly swing, but at least it's straight and it's about 166 yards up and on the fairway. In the fairway then, just over 130 yards to go and I'm hitting an 8 iron. Easy practice swing, followed by a horrible curtailed actual swing, which is a pattern of mine at the moment. I just can't seem to follow through properly on my shorter irons and I end up just right to the green in the light rough. We have a technical issue now and rather than starting a video recording I merely succeeded in taking a close-up picture of my groin so I thought it would be preferable to have a picture of a hedgehog rather than a picture of my groin area. In a way it was quite fortunate really as viewers have saved the embarrassment of watching me duff the chip 10 inches. Luckily I get up and down with my next attempt and complete the hole in a triple bogey seven. Excellent. The next hole is an even shorter par four of 271 yards and I'm hitting a five iron. Not pretty again, but I do manage a decent strike and 183 yards. Roughly 100 yards left and I'm hitting a pitching wedge. Fairly easy smooth practice swing. Followed by a horrible shortened actual swing and I hit duff it about 20 yards. Which leaves me a sand wedge and this time another awful swing. But luckily it does reach the green. And here we are on the green and my chance to show my putting prowess with the Slazinger Lucky 13. It's not looking promising. Oh dear, it's a three put. Oh no, even worse, it's a four put. Exit green with a sheepish grin. The next hole is a 411 yard par four, 90 degree dog leg right. So I'll be taking the one wood or driver. And I do manage to hit a decent drive, 253 yards, just in the light rough. I apologise here for making a complete hash of lining up the camera. I've got about 170 yards left and I'm hitting a five iron. I also apologise for the terrible shank that I hit, which is heading out of bounds, but luckily the golf gods smile on me and it hits a tree and bounces back into the rough. From where I take a pitching wedge and another horrible snatchy swing, which finishes in the bunker on the left. By this stage, I'd already decided that the planned six holes would be reduced to just three. 
And I think the golf gods must have also felt that wreaked enough havoc on me and decided to give me something back by giving me one of those shots that brings you back next time and I actually hold the bunker shot. And I'm more excited than I look. Well, that's made up for a load of crap. Just can the bunker shot. There you have it. My first playing video. Treble bogey, treble bogey, par. Six over par for the three holes. So not a great advert for how easy it is to play with classic blades. I'd like to finish by saying a little bit more about Harold Burdenson, who made the three to pitching wedge featured in this vlog. They were based in Oldridge in the West Midlands, just north of Birmingham, and were founded in 1929. They produced budget clubs. I've not been able to find out a lot about Harold Burdenson, but there's an advert here from 1988 which shows the price of the clubs, and you can compare it against some of the more recognised manufacturers and see what good value the clubs were. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this video. So I'll finish by saying thanks for watching and see you next time.